the Gemini AI can be used directly when you're working on your Google Slides document. And in this video, I'm going to show several things that you can do when you have Gemini on your Google Slides document. But first, before you can use this feature, make sure that you're in the, in the Google AI Pro or Google App Ultra plan subscriptions or you can just go to the Google Workspace programs by going to this URL and then you can sign up using your email and eventually you'll get access to uh, some features like exclusive AI features from Google and of course one of them is that you can use Google Gemini's to various Google products and after that you can go to Gemini and then you can go to settings and help click apps and make sure that Gemini for Google Workspace is enabled so you have to make sure that this setting is enabled and now you can start using Gemini AI on various Google products including Google Slides now let me give you one thing that you can do so I have this document that I created using a different AI tool actually and basically you can use Gemini to summarize the entire document so just open Gemini and let's ask it to summarize this document and immediately it will read all the content all the slides from this presentation and it will give me uh, the entire summary of this document and you can also use it to you know refer to a slide or maybe you want to know something from this document you can use Gemini to get that info immediately and of course you can use it to uh, specify let's say slide number one two three etc it is something that you can do now the next thing that you can do with Gemini uh, on your Google Slides document is that if you want to reward or rewrite some phrases on your slide you can do that so in this case I'll try to rewrite this uh slide number one so i'm going to ask gemini to please rewrite the slide number one and immediately it will just focus on the slide number one and it will give me some alternatives of the wording that i could use for this presentation or this slide and now you can just manually copy this now i do not recommend to use the insert uh, option here because it's not great most of the time so it's better just manually copy the text to the respective text box and then you will get a much better result especially if your slide is very decorated okay that was the second thing that you can do another thing that you can do is that you can actually ask gemini to generate some images so let's ask gemini to please generate some images that might be related to this slide hit enter and just wait for it to generate some images so of course gemini is using the image and for model which is very good it is quite realistic and it will generate up to four different images so you don't have to wait for one image at a time you can actually generate up to four images and then you can insert that to your presentation and there you go so these are just some examples uh there are some pictures with some text which is quite interesting although i'm not a fan of it but yeah I, basically this is something that you can do you can click this button to insert that and now that picture is now on your presentation you can resize it you can change the aspect ratio you can apply some different styling etc now that was the third thing that you can do let me show you another thing that you can do with gemini you can use gemini to create a new slide so let's ask gemini to add uh, a, a new slide so create a new slide uh, based on the let's say the current slide or you know what i think i want to create a new slide summarizing the entire document so let's go to the very last and i will i want to ask AI to create a new slide summarizing everything and then hit enter and it will create a new slide and it will actually create a unique design that let's say it's appropriate it is not going to be the best design i think gemini or in this case google slide is not really incorporating ai to create a good looking presentation but at least it is something that you can do now it generated this slide and i know that it doesn't look exactly the same as the other slides because it's just creating some basic simple it is actually not bad it is actually pretty good but there is no color style and everything so it's quite simple and perhaps this is another reason to maybe to keep your slide to be as minimalistic and as simple as possible but either way i think it looks awesome and in theory you can just go create some basic draft and then let gemini to 
create multiple drafts for your presentation. So that's one thing that you can do. Now, another thing and the last thing that you can do uh, with Gemini on your Google Slash document is that you can actually use it to reference a different document without having to open it. So let's say I want to refer a document that I created on my Google Docs account. I'm going to ask Gemini to summarize uh, or maybe tell me something, something about this document. And then I'm going to type the character at and then let's type the name of the document. Uh, okay, let's try this one, chat GPT prompts. I'm going to click that and hit enter. So I don't have to open the, the, that document on a different tab or on a different browser window. I can just ask Gemini to just give me the summary or uh, something that I need to know from this particular document. So it's a lot faster and it will make you more efficient and hopefully becoming more productive. So. Those are some amazing things that you can do with Gemini on your Google Slides document. And if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.